What's the matter? Missed your breakfast this morning? But you're sounding like a box of Rice Krispies every time you move? Snap, crackle, pop? We've got just the medicine for you. Kellen Carr, right here on Eagle 810. 909, that was Lady Gaga with her latest single featuring R. Kelly with Do What You Want. This stuck him, do what you want, do what you want. I was jamming to that right there. So was Hisano Yamazaki. I have the wonderful, the talented, the beautiful ninja herself in the studio with me right now. Good morning, Hisano. How are you doing? Good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning. How are you? I'm, I'm doing great. How about yourself? Okay, thank you. I'm doing great, too. Did, did you have a good weekend? Yes. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> We're just leave it alone. <laughs> yes, yes, Do what please. You want. Do what you All right, Hisano, what are we going to be talking about today? Okay, last week, I talked about some Japanese word pronunciations you may want to be careful with. Oh, no. The words sound <laughs> similar and have totally different meanings, such as the Japanese word kawaii, that means cute, and the Japanese word kawaii, which means scary. Today, I will give you another Japanese lesson. It's about Japanese words that sound like English, so you may get confused when you hear them. For example, oshi, saiko, and dame. The Japanese police has a special team called shitto. What's that about? Also, I will talk about the way in which Japanese pronounce the R and L sounds. This is going to be very fun, and we are going to be, be excited. excited. Yes, you hit it right there, folks. Make sure you stay tuned. We're going to have more from the wonderful, the talented, the beautiful ninja, Miss Isano Yamazaki. But first, I got to get back to some music. It's time to have a good time, and that's exactly what we're going to do here on Eagle 810. Owl City, Carly Rae Jepsen. 916. That was Lord right there with Royals here on Eagle 810. I'm Kellen, and we have Hisano Yamazaki in the studio with Yes, Kellen, I have a question. What's up? Um, I saw the, the, the girl singer. Yeah, Lord? Uh, yes, yes, on TV the other day, and they said that she's 17. Is she, she 17, really? She really is 17. She doesn't look 17. Yeah, in America, that's what we call jail bait, Hisano. <laughs> she, yeah, she's 17 for sure. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, so back to our discussion. Now, today we're going to talk about Japanese words that sound English, mm -hmm. and you actually gave us some examples a little earlier, and uh, some of them sound very interesting. Okay, here's my experience. The other day, I was editing my Outside the Gate recording to fit it in one minute. When I found it was just one second longer than it was supposed to be, I yelled out, Oshi! You yelled out... <laughs> I was like, what? So, yeah, you were there, I, yes. I remember that. Yes. But what did you say, Hisano? Okay, you thought I, I had cursed, I didn't thought you, you said a bad word. I was like, no, no, I was no, like, no. oh, Hisano, no, no. watch your language. <laughs> that's, that's my language, Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I said the Japanese word, oshi, which means just missed out or almost there, but not quite. So, it reminded me of another Japanese word. Uh -huh. And how do you say delicious in Japanese? It's oishi. When Japanese say oishi while eating, don't misunderstand. It's not a cursing word, but we just mean it's delicious. Okay, and now <laughs> earlier when you were given examples, you said another word that sounded like the English word psycho, uh -huh. but I'm assuming it's not the same meaning. No, <laughs> I said psycho, which means the best or the coolest. For example, at sports games, when the winning team players and fans are asked how they feel, they excitingly yelled out, Psycho! Psycho! Don't misunderstand. They were not psycho, but they were crazy excited. Next word is dame. Now, this word is in a TV commercial, uh, Learning Japanese. Mm -hmm. And uh, the ad shows the animation guy, he's like smoking on the street, and he doesn't know it's a non-smoking area. So the policeman comes up, and he's like, dame. Mm -hmm. right. Well, he crosses his arms. I've seen you do this as well. And again, I thought you were cursing me out, but <laughs> no. I, I guess you weren't, right? No, 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 <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> okay, the, that's the word I'm talking about here. The police says, dame des in the ad. Dame means no good or it's forbidden. It's not like darn. You may often hear Japanese use the word. Okay, so I also have another question. So right? many questions. I know, I know. <laughs> but listen, when I notice when I talk to Japanese people, uh, many say something like aso. Uh huh. And they say it a lot. And during the conversation. During the conversation, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Were you puzzled when they said that? I, I was. Because <laughs> okay. I was like, hold up, you don't even know me. So, okay. yeah. Wh what do they mean by <laughs> okay. that? Um, aso means is that so? We say that when we are surprised to hear what you said. Many Japanese say that often too. Okay, that makes a little more sense because uh, 
yeah, I, I definitely probably said something that they're like, whoa. So I was watching a Japanese TV show the other day in between my uh, watching the uh, sumo wrestling. I love watching the sumo. But mm -hmm. um, I, I catch a few words on there when they say, like, kambawa for good evening or arigato gozaimasu for thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, but if I'm not mistaken, I think one Japanese word that young ladies uh, say, like, aso-san. San is miss, right? Right. So she called her Miss Aso. <laughs> I, right? know, I know what you're trying to say, <laughs> but Aso is a com common family name in Japan. It's spelled A-S-O, Aso. But beware that uh, there is another as that Japanese often say. When Japanese try to pronounce the English word Earth for our planet Earth, we say as. So Earth Day becomes as day. And the event, Love the Earth, is Love the Us. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All yeah, right. That makes a little more sense. Uh, all right. Well, make sure you stay tuned, folks. We're going to have more from Mrs. Sano Yamazaki, and she's going to, you know, clear some things up for myself and the rest of you Eagle 810 listeners. So stay tuned. we got your weather and more music on the way. Coming up after your Kanto connection, we'll have more from Hisano talking about words that can help you avoid getting yourself in trouble in Japanese or even English. Here's Mumford & Sons with Little Lion Man. 9.33, Kellen here on the morning cruise control with the wonderful, the talented, the beautiful ninja herself, Miss Hisano Yamazaki. And now, at the opening of the show, you said, Hisano, that the Japanese police have a special team. Yes. The team is Special Investigation Team, or SIT, called Shitto. Uh, excuse me, Hisano. Now, if it's S-I-T, right, wouldn't it be sit? <laughs> Let me explain. The English sound C is mostly pronounced as she in Japanese. For example, the letter C is she. Ocean C, S E A, is she. And seat, S E A T, is pronounced as shito. So the Japanese Special Investigation Team, or SIT, is called shito. Okay, that's very interesting. But, okay, I have one more question. Okay. Now, when I was talking to this Japanese guy, he was saying, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. during our conversation. But when he said that, he was shaking his head from side to side, and he didn't really look like he was agreeing with me. But he actually said, yeah, I was kind of confused. What exactly did he mean by that? Um, this is another thing you want to keep in mind. As many of you may know, uh, yes is hi in Japanese, and no is ie. Some Japanese, mostly Japanese men, say ya instead of ie, like ya ya. They, they mean no, no. Generally, people shake their head or hand from side to side, so you may guess that they're meaning no. So he was not saying yes, but he meant no. Yes, that's right. Also, ya is associated with unpleasant feelings such as dislike, unwelcome, and disagreeable. I want to teach you one more word here. When Japanese are upset, they sometimes say, mo. That word is like, ah. <laughs> so, mo. Right. It sounds kind of like the more word, the English word, more. Here's my point. Be careful <laughs> with this phrase. If a Japanese person, especially women, say, ya, ya, mo. It oh. means they are not happy about what has just been said or whatever is going on. Don't think they mean ya, yeah, ya, yeah, more. It's the opposite. It means no, no, it's enough. That's more confusing than a <laughs> Destiny's Child song right there. I'm going to tell you right now. Hey, folks, make sure you stay tuned. We're going to have more from the wonderful, the talented, the beautiful ninja, Miss Isano Yamazaki. And, of course, we're going to be excited, excited. on Eagle 810. But first, got to get back to some more music, Isano. Okay. All right. Beep, beep. <laughs> Here's John Mayer featuring Katy Perry with Who You Love here on Eagle 810. That was the fray with Love Don't Die. It's 943. We're going to be talking with Hisano about the distinction between R and L sounds in Japanese right after Hailstorm with Here's to Us. 946. That was Hailstorm, Here's to Us. Kellen here on the morning cruise control. And we're talking about words in Japanese that sound similar to English words. But we're going to go ahead and move on to our next topic. What is it, Hisano? Okay. Next one is the way in which Japanese pronounce the R and L sounds. Okay. I know there is no distinction between R and L sounds in Japanese, though, right? That's right. We say rice as rice and right as laito. So please keep, 
Please keep in mind that Japanese have a little trouble distinguishing between R and L when we speak English. Don't get confused when Japanese say, I like rice and eat rice every day. My friend said, Fright line for flight line. But by mistake. It seems like he's trying to speak accurately. Yes. They just mistook the L for the R. Thank you for understanding his airport, Kellen san. <laughs> Another、uh, example is after a good performance, Japanese people crap their hands. Please don't <laughs> make <laughs> fun of us. <laughs> also, when Japanese talk about elections, such as presidential election and local government election, you may hear Japanese say something strange about the poll. Please, please, please do not get us wrong. Japanese do not do this on purpose, but we just make mistakes because we can hardly distinguish between the R and L sounds. So that just goes to show you a small mistake can make a big difference right there. And、uh, like you often say hero instead of hello, but you do that on purpose.、Though. Yes, yes, that's right. But I think I've been saying it a little too much. Recently, I sometimes say hero without thinking. Also, I should be careful about R and L pronunciations when I'm with kids. I felt really bad when one of our troops,、uh, small kids, said hero to me.、Uh, <laughs> don't, don't mess them up, h i s a n a They're still trying to learn I'm English. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, g o m e n a s a n I was a bad influence.、Uh, another example is if you play golf, you may hear Japanese people say, nice body. Nice body? Here's a story I found <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> What? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a story I found on the internet. This happened at a professional golf tournament held in Japan. A member of the Japanese audience, who was a male, said to an American female golfer, Nice body, nice body. <laughs> <laughs> It's not appropriate, okay? The, the female golfer must have been upset, huh? I assume so too. <laughs> But that was a huge misunderstand- misunderstanding. The guy meant to say nice birdie. Japanese pronounced the golf term birdie as body in Japanese without the R sound. Okay, now that's why it sounded <laughs> like nice body. I was trying to figure it out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I hope she found out that、uh, it was just different pronunciation between the English and Japanese. Yes, yes. They all laughed when they found it out. All right. Well, thank you very much, Asano, for、You're、coming、welcome. on today. Thank you、that、for having me, and I hope awesome, you enjoy the topic. Awesome topic right there, because <laughs>、uh, you definitely cleared some things up for me, and I, and I appreciate that. No problem. I'll make sure I don't get myself in any kind of trouble. So we'll do it again next week, ma'am.、Mm-hmm. All right.、I'll、take care.